as a little girl, I believed I was a boy. I acted like a boy. I wore my brother's clothes. I did everything I could to be a boy. I wanted the world to accept me as a boy. This was before people talked about transgender publicly. This was something that was real and authentic to my experience. I hated myself as a girl. And it's not because I'm a man trapped in a woman's body. It's because I had experiences that made me hate my female body. So what we're doing is we're saying to children who have gender dysphoria, go ahead and indulge in that delusion because you're not worth mental health services because we want to pretend like kinds of trauma that happen to kids don't happen because we just want to pretend like everything is fine when a girl hates her female body. We just want to pretend like everything is okay when a boy hates his male body and we are going to deny them access to therapy and encourage them in their delusional belief rather than provide them mental health services. So when people say it is none of my business whether or not a child transitions, it actually is my business. It's my business to stand up for these children because I was one of them. And if somebody had suggested that I transition instead of get mental health services, I don't think I'd be alive today. I hated my female body so much that I wanted it dead. So we hear trans activists say, if kids are not allowed to transition, they will kill themselves. And guess what? If we encourage children to indulge in their delusions, to hate their bodies, to talk about a penis as a birth defect that will be removed when they are old enough to have the surgery, to bind their chests because they are ashamed of their female bodies, to have their breasts excised as young as 13. This is a national health crisis. And we are not allowed to talk about it because if we do, we are called transphobic. Because if we are too, we are told that we're no better than Nazis. Because if we do, we are told that we are TERFs and that it is okay to threaten us and actually perpetrate violence against us. Because we don't believe this absurdity. Because we want to stand up for children. Because we are worried. Because we are horrified that children's bodies are being mutilated. That these are children who could benefit from therapy. And instead, their bodies are being mutilated. Their, their delusion is being affirmed. That's what's happening. And people are celebrating it. And people are proud about advocating for it. For these children. This is a national health crisis. It's a psychiatric health crisis. People who are concerned about it are not transphobic. They are deeply concerned about children. They are deeply concerned about children with mental health issues being affirmed. I can't even imagine if a girl had anorexia and instead of saying, this child needs some help, we said, yeah, we understand you identify as a fat girl. Therefore, we're going to treat you as a fat girl. Even if it means mutilating your body, we're gonna affirm that. Mental illness, one of the hallmarks of mental illness is when people do things that are dysfunctional. That's how people sort of start to recognize that somebody has a mental illness, when they start doing things that are radically dysfunctional. And I would argue that maiming a child's body is dysfunctional. Mutilating a child's body is dysfunctional. 
giving a child puberty blockers so that they don't naturally mature is dysfunctional. Giving a child cross-gender hormones so that they never experience normal puberty is dysfunctional. If people want to call me a transphobe for believing this, I guess that's fine. And I'm not going to stop standing up for children. And I'm not going to stop standing up for mental health. Because fundamentally, what this is, is a mental health issue.